All right, boys and girls, we're going to be drawing a Egyptian temple cat. And this is a cat from one of my favorite books, Winged Cat, which is a book all about ancient Egypt and how they would worship cats and other animals as gods. So the cat we're going to be drawing is this. It's a lot of fun because we're going to draw the jewelry and the headpiece. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a white piece of paper and you're going to fold your paper in half like a book and you're going to fold it in half again. Short book. When you open it up you're going to have four boxes. Hold your paper vertically. It's the long way. Our cat is going to be sitting the long way. So you can put your finger at the top and your finger at the bottom just so you know you have it together. All right, so the first thing we're going to draw from our cat is we're going to start. We usually put a dot in the middle. We can do that. We can put a little dot in the middle just so we know where the middle is. And then we're going to start here and we're going to put a dot in the middle of that line. So put a little dot there. Nice to have a sharp crayon. Okay, next up, this dot is going to turn into our cat nose. Make our nose kind of wide, kind of like a lion nose. And then point it down. And we can put a little mouth, like a little J. And then from this dot to here, Find the middle over here, put a little dot, and it's going to be the top of our head. So now we're going to get our eyes done. So to do the eyes, we're going to draw a straight line about an inch up on both sides. There's some symmetry. And then we're going to draw our wide Egyptian eyes. So this is what we're trying to get, is these beautiful, wide Egyptian cat eyes. And how we're going to do that is we're going to draw a straight line. And make it, if, if you have a hard time, make it, put your fingers there and draw it as long as your fingers. What I mean is put your fingers there, put a dot, and draw a straight line, nice and long. Make sure to make them symmetrical too. And then you're gonna draw a moon. You're gonna draw a nice moon, bump it up, bump this one, and then you can draw a V, or whatever shape you want inside those moons. All right, so now we have a cat face coming out. Our next step is from this dot to the mouth, find the middle and put a dot there so you know how big the head's going to be. And then we're going to start the head, but be careful because where this eye is, come up and put a dot on the same level as there, same level. And then you can draw a straight line across the head. And the ears are, can come all the way up, they can point. My ears are going to bend in a little bit. Yours could just be totally straight. So how we do that is we draw a pointed triangle all the way up. Make sure you go around the eye, go all the way up to the top, and then swoop down like you're making a triangle, like a pointed cat face, all the way back to the cat head. All right, so let's do some Egyptian details. First Egyptian detail is we can give our cat cat eyes, which I love, and I wear makeup that looks like a cat eye. And we can kind of darken our cat some eyeliner. Darken it up. We can give our cat some like cheekbones, a little crown. They would really actually give their cats jewelry in ancient Egypt. We can give our cat an earring, a little moon, and I'm going pretty fast. Mark in the ear. All right, so now we can start the body. So there's the head. So from this dot to the bottom of your page, find the middle and put a dot. And 
this is going to be how your cat's body, because our cat's sitting on back legs, so you can see what we're going to be doing. Okay, so let's draw them with like a long U. It's going to be how wide your cat's stomach is. And then let's just draw it. So it's going to look really weird. It's going to look like a door, straight line all the way down to the bottom of your page. It almost looks like there's just a door there. But that's going to be the legs. So let's go back up to the neck. Find like a little bit, you can put a dot, like a little bit above the chin. And then come all the way down to the bottom of the page. Put a little foot in. Put a little cuff. Same thing on this side. Put a little foot in. Put a little paw little cuff, 